Every goddamn time, huh? Mm. Okay. Oh, wait, I thought I paused. I guess I did it. Okay. Weird. Whatever. Whatever. Um, sorry, I had to. That actually does make sense because I had to. I had to unplug my um, my headset and mic. Um, but. Yep, sound sounds like it's working, so let's fucking do this. Hey, Keep on going. With Charlie. He's the one who chose to be uncivil blowing up on me when all I did was my job. I'm the one doing the talking on camera, not him. Come on, you came in hot on him and you know it. Not that you're wrong. I need to stop chewing gum. You know he meets anger with more anger. This is on him, Mark, not me. I don't want to be that annoying asshole. Um... The rest of us are tired of watching you guys fight. And I'm tired of having those fights. He's just jealous. Jealous? Yeah, he doesn't like that I'm the one getting invited on to talk show. You mean talk show? Talk show. The point is, <laughs> I'm the one people see on screen, so they want to talk to me, and he's being a baby about it. He's a big I can't baby. Take half the shit he writes. It may look good on the page, but there's more to it. I'm trying to help, and he throws it back in my face. Because you're... Because he thinks you're just trying to get content for your showreel. What if I was? Um. That's how directors have to be. It's their job. They have a vision. Ego has to play into it a little bit. That's why I just shut up and point the camera. That doesn't mean he has to be an asshole. No, but imagine if you were in his shoes. Forty-something, still waiting for your big break. <laughs> Kate, this show that sucks. To True. Fair. Fair. That. Oh, yeah. She, she does not like me. Doesn't matter. One way or another, I am moving on from Lana at Entertainment. <laughs> How we move on together? What the fuck are you talking about? Yeah, get out while you Good can. For you. That's. That's definitely the right call for where your career is going. That. Sounded very sincere. Because it is. Charlie would replace us in a second if he wouldn't be inconveniencing himself. He's using us. I deserve better than this. So do you. We all do. Hello? What a stunning performance. You should give up news and be an actress. I was quite moved by all that. Fucking Oscar worthy. You don't know what we were talking about. I heard enough, thank you. I know what betrayal sounds like. I'm particularly disappointed in you, Mark. What? What are your future plans? Are you fucking? All right, this guy needs to die. We we can we be real about this? This guy needs to die. Um, so so there's a couple things that's super fucking wrong about this. So um, I supported Charlie and was basically defending him the entire time. The only thing I didn't completely defend Charlie on was when she said, I think I'm going to, like, you know, uh, I think I need to leave, and I supported that decision, being like, yeah, you know, maybe it is the right time for you to leave. If that's, you know, and that's fair. And he was just like, oh, you're a traitor because you told her to leave. Well, so I support her decision to, like, move on because it doesn't seem like her shit aligns with, it, like, you know, law and entertainment anymore. But I fucking, I fucking, oh god, whatever. He's a big dick. This may be right now. You work for Lonit Entertainment, and Lonit Entertainment employees are meeting for dinner to speak with our host. Charlie, I'm sorry. And Lonit employees are professionals. Yes. So I need to hold on. Like it. Great. Happy. You have a future, and now I don't. <sighs> that man is a goddamn child, and somehow we all sink to his level. Hello? I'm not a fan of animatronics. Anything like dummies or like animatronics or anything like that, it just gives me the fucking heebie jeebies. Ever it's been like that since I was a fucking child. Uh what? Oh 
Okay. Seven fifty-eight. Well, who's making dinner? Who the fuck is making dinner? Think it's okay if we pour some wine? God, please do. Has anyone seen Mr. Dumet? Shouldn't we wait for him? Just pour more. Who doesn't show up to their own dinner party? None of you did anything to piss him off, did you? No, Dad. I haven't seen a soul here aside from the groundskeeper. He's probably cooking dinner himself. Ah, Mr. Dumet! I love what you've done with your hair. We started on the wine. Hope that's all right with Dumet? you. Dumet? Yeah, that dude ain't coming. Wait, what? why? He saw all the snide things you tweeted from his limo. I didn't. What are you talking about, Jamie? He got back aboard the ferry and left. What? When? Right after we got to our rooms. He just left. You're sure? Can't be. You must be mistaken. I'm not blind. I know what I saw. Why would he leave? That makes no sense. They're in a big ass hurry. Guess you were right. There was some kid here. I saw them together when I was looking for my room. Another perfect Charles Lonnet plan comes together. What's our next step, boss? Swim for shore? Why would he invite us here and to dinner and then just leave? Uh... I'm sure he has his reasons. Who knows what could have cropped up? Maybe he ordered pizza for dinner and the dock is as far as they deliver. This could work to our advantage. How? Well, think about it. Yeah, we We're can still do here whatever we want. By perfect visuals. The plan is still on track. We there just can't legit leave, correct. right? We shouldn't leap to conclusions. Guys, am I the only one who's getting really freaked out by this place? And by Mr. Dumet? As much as it pains me from the depths of my soul to say it, I'm starting to side with Jamie on this one. Thank you. Lower your voices. Why? He's not here. But that doesn't explain why he's ditched out on us. He had to go back to establish an alibi. What are you... You know, so when our bodies wash up on the other side of the lake, he has plausible deniability. Oh, oh God. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Can you stop trying to make this worse? You're not helping. Okay, fine. Just don't come crying to me if you end up dead. What is wrong with you? I'm just saying. I guess you never found your cigarettes. The bitch of it is, I did find a machine, but just like everything else in this fucking place, it's ancient and broken. So what are we doing? We just gonna sit here and pretend to eat? What's the plan, Charlie? The plan? In true Lon and entertainment fashion, we're going to sit with our thumbs in our asses <laughs> until a panic deadline looms over us and then we'll just throw some shit together and I'll save it with a voiceover. What? Yeah, let's take a drink. Well, here's to Topeka, no longer being the worst decision Charlie has ever made. <sighs> All right, enough. I'd like to propose a toast. It seems as if this may well be our last supper as a team, given how you've all been acting. Me and my apostles. <laughs> Just wait. Give me a moment. I can't decide who the Judas is. I've got so many options. And of course, you're the martyr. You're going to find out very soon that you won't get very far without being a team player, Kate. Enough Sunday school bullshit. Charlie, what's your problem now? You know, you don't always have to get a word in, Jamie. You do your best work when you're silent. Trust me. Oof. Come on, Charlie. You want us to rally behind you? Stop treating us like crap. Fine, I'm sorry. You... I'm sorry. You're right... I'm on edge without smoke. Let's just all relax. So, we just gonna sit here and drink waiting for Demet to show up to his own party? His house, his rules. 
I'm sure we'd all rather be shooting. Or home watching TV. <laughs> but we have to make the best of it until he shows. What do we do? We're like alone here. We don't have our phones. It's not like we can leave until he's back. May as well keep busy. Let's just shoot. Come on. He knows what we're here to do. He oh. can't act like we're breaking. Wait a minute. Oh, oh. I just realized. Okay, so you can hear. Uh, let me try and fix this really quick. Um, oh, now it's working. God. I hope you didn't hear me like fucking burp in between that. I forgot I'm still recording. Oh God. Okay, yeah. Now that that's all fixed, I have to. Uh, I have some like noise filter things um, set up through this program. Noise removal. Can I get be a little stronger? That's. That's pretty good. That's fine. Okay. It's rules. Well, unless there's something he doesn't want us to shoot. Come on, I'm dying. All right, all right. Let's set up. All right, everyone grab what they need and we'll meet in the lobby. Let's be as professional as possible from here on in, please. No mistakes. Perfection. If he comes back, I don't want him to see us fucking about or arguing. Good call. We're on it. Right, guys? Fantastic. I'd love to hear that. Shouldn't take me long at all. Great. 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 Bearing updated. Oh, Dumet could have. Could Dumet have turned up for dinner? Interesting. Interesting. Did I have a decision that I made that, like, made him want to leave? What the fuck? Hello? Guys? Is that you? Who's crying? Ooh, the microphone. God. like it's coming from further down. Oh god. Okay, well I hear it. Can 
Can I knock? What the fuck? Oh, wait. There's something here. Breaking down walls. By the very way Oh yeah. Authoring him with over twenty years experience helping patients overcome. Leave on the Is there any busting tips? JP Hunter. Huh. Breathing techniques for emergencies. So really we look at how Donald practicing the drugs over Tumo and Pranayama for just 20 minutes a day, blah, blah, blah. Five minutes, no. Or just put your headphones on. I have no idea what I'm supposed to do. Is it broken? Hold on. Okay, let's just... Maybe I have to find another way around there? I don't fucking know. Hello? What the fuck am I hearing? Hello? Oh. Inspection. The execution of H.H. H. Holmes. Cool. Wait, was it like this before? No. Wait, ha this is impossible. They changed the layout. God. Oh. Try to avoid that. Stabbed. Yep, everything's getting shifted. Because this... So it's the same picture. But now I can go to the right. Woohoo, spooky. Oh, fuck this hotel, man. Fuck this hotel. Because of the sun, I can't really see anything, unfortunately. 
So I have to turn uh, turn up the brightness a little bit. Yeah, I can't. There we go. What the fuck? Not gonna comment on that. Oh my god. What the fuck is going on? Damn it. Breakers. Oh shit. Alright. Oh, at least I have a fucking flashlight now. Shit. Hello? Mr. Demet? Due to winter sun pool opening hours have changed. Ten to four. The lady looks ten years younger, but how? The Columbus Spa. European health. Oh. Head yoke. Digital lock installation for uh, Ted Yoke. Who are all of these people? Okay. Might be time to join the twenty first century, guys. They keep saying the grand opening. It keeps on getting pushed back. No luck there, unfortunately. Great. Enter the creepy maintenance room in the creepy hotel on the creepy island to shoot a doc about serial killers all alone and without my stun gun. Choices, Jamie. Make better choices. This is your own damn fault. What the fuck is this? <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. Mark Edwards, East Third Lighthouse. Like, Dear Mark and Jennifer, as instructed by you, we have made the re requested amendment to your will. A codicil has been added which states that in the event of both of your death, the sole beneficiary of your entire estate is Mr. Richard Belknap. Remember that a copy of this letter be given to your legal representatives uh, for their records. Please remember you can view any do any of your will or life insurance documents at any time by logging into your online account. Okay. Cool. Oh. Enjoy her memorabilia, dude. Ken at Killer Fernalia. Ben at Killer Fernalia. Online auction for serial killer memorabilia. Um, $24,000 for the authentic original hat is worn by H.H. H. Holmes. Damn. So 
what's over here. Uh, dear Mr. Clark, um, Mr. Belknap has requested further renovations to your hotel spa. We're currently negotiating a formal contract and would like to, the remaining crew to be conduct a cough nap assessment. Mr. Belknap can provide a detailed breakdown of the work he wants. Once your report has been received, we will arrange for a replacement crew to alleviate you and your team for a period. In the interim, please continue to adhere to the terms and stipulated uh, terms stipulated in the non-disclosure agreement and treat this period as an extension of the previous contract. Awesome. Jesse, Laura, Frank, Monica, Rod. Isn't that the same names as the people who came in here? Jesse, Laura, Frank, Monica, Ryan. Welcome postcard. Hotel guest book. Oh, fuck, I can't see the... I think they are. I think those names are the same. I don't remember. Oh, hello. Well, we don't know. What do we got here? Dear Mr. Belknap, following our discussion regarding renovating the hotel property for the purpose of converting it to a tourist attraction, we have reviewed your latest design to estimate the construction work necessary. Please find overleaf a breakdown of the work as well as an estimate of the total for the total cost. The work can commence Tuesday, 13th of January, and will approximately take 10 weeks with an estimated end date of Friday, March 24th. Please contact me if you wish to proceed. Wow, almost a million dollars. Well, if it is those people, they were only here for five days instead of the several months that they were anticipating. What? Oh. That sucks. Nice globe you got there. Who's performing tonight? Oh. Okay, now I have better the Morellos. They were just here. Brad Fitcher, Rachel, Jackie Scott, and Grace. Hold on. I think they brought me back here for a reason to figure this out. Kelly Schroeder. Morellos. Huh. What do I need to do? Tr turn the power back? Oh yeah, I've been following. Wait. Why does that say 180? What does that mean? It was 179 before, right? We've already seen this one, right? Yeah, we don't need that. Oh. Huh. 
，好吧。I have to turn up, find the code for the electrical closet. But how do I know? Um. Hold on. What was the date? Two thousand seventeen, maybe I don't know. Or eleven seventeen. Nope. Am I crazy? Why do I do that? I can't listen to it. Well, probably because I've listened to it before. I don't know. I don't know why it's like that. Oh. Oh. I missed <laughs> the breakers. Where's the breakers? That's the. I go upstairs, probably. Yeah. I mean, that did change. I should probably check upstairs. Hello? Oh, yeah, we've already seen this one. Oh yeah, we need to be upstairs because of the breaker, right? But... But... I can't do anything. So what the fuck am I supposed to do here? I am... kind of lost. What? What was that? Yeah, where are the breakers? Oh, wait. Huh. Katie's getting creative with Charlie's script. Let's see any other suggestions. Blah, blah, blah. Whatever. I don't care about the script. But how do I get up there? That's the real question. Wait, hold on. Did I just pass the door? That's locked. Okay. I don't know the code. Hold on. God damn it, it's because I was being dumb. 
There was a reason why they connected me back to that original room. I was being so dumb. It's 0451. That is a, that is a code violation. You shouldn't just put, leave the password on a break room like that. 0 4 5 1 Cool. Thank God. Something from this century. Okay. There we go. Ah, damn. Still can't listen to it. That's fucking terrifying. Where's your PA when you need one? Gotta be smarter than the chair, Bobs. Yeah, yeah. Where the hell is everyone? It's a two person job to pull Kate away from her mirror. Um, let's be mischievous. When we wrap, you should totally write a how-to book on managing a crew with grace and poise. Fuck off. Do your job. See? You already have the title. <coughs> what the hell? She definitely needs her inhaler. Here, Aaron. Just try to stay calm. Count your breath. One, two, three, in. One, two, three, out. We need to break through this thing. Guys, I, I, I can't. Go and look for something to knock this door down. Me and Mark are trying to pull it Scary. Who's there? <gasps> it's H.H. H. Holmes. I, I, guys, guys, somebody is in here with, with me. Oh, God. Oh no. It's the inhaler. Uh, let's take it. I thought. Oh my 
god. <laughs> Breathe. <sighs> okay. Easy, easy. In and out. I think if I attacked him, he would have murdered her. Hey. You're okay now. You're safe. What? Did you see him? Come on. <laughs> he... he was... somebody was right there. In there with me. Eric, it's just a dummy. No, it was not a dummy. He... he had a hat on, like H.H. H. Holmes. Charles, you're working her to death. Now she's hallucinating shit from the show? I did not... Nothing bad happened, Erin. You're okay. No one is in there. Let's all just calm down, get Erin back to her room for a rest. I'm not fucking tired. Let's go. Come on, Erin. Oh, God. The first little fright. But she survived. We're gonna go back to the cure. I figured we'd go back to the curator. That was the first chance of someone dying, I think. Ah. There you are. I think Erin's shown signs of serious pluck. So here's the thing. It would have sucked to lose Erin at first. But no one actually thinks that there's like something sinister. Well, I mean, they're like, they think something sinister is going on. But they don't know something sinister is going on. They don't have like concrete evidence of like, oh, hey, this chick got murdered. If she died and they saw her dead body... Then they'd start panicking, and then they'd actually start trying to get a move on and like getting, doing something about this and getting out of here. But for the time being, they're just fucking gaslight gatekeeping girl boss. Wouldn't you say? Now, where's our wayward host, Mr. Jumet? Apparently, no clue. he's left the island. How very rude not to stay for dinner. Charlie managed to rally the troops, though, and a good thing. The road ahead is full of challenges. I can only observe, and it can be frustrating to watch. In some ways, I envy you. I only record events. You get to shape them. You'd better get back to things before one of our friends makes a poor choice on their own. Fair. I feel like this is now the start of Act 2. And with that, we'll um, leave it to next time. I'll see you then.